Hello, how are y'all doing? Kenny Evans here, another car video. Topic of this video is how to get and handle a rotation of women. But before I get into that uh, topic, I do want to let you guys know this is all about, this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. The health, the wealth, dating, the relationships, and the mindset. So I'm glad y'all here. And let us definitely be the best versions we can be. All right. And you new people, welcome. People who've been around for a while, welcome. Thank y'all for coming. Definitely, um, you know, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, if you just want to support me, if you like my videos, you've been here for a while, definitely hit that like button. It really means a lot. Helps out with the algorithm. So, uh, also, you can share now or you can share later. Share the video. Again, if you really like me, if you like my videos, definitely share the video so we can help out some more of your peoples to be the best they can be as well. So, let's get back to the topic at hand. How to get and handle a rotation of women. So, for those of y'all who want to be uh, more of the players, you know what I mean, have multiple women you're dealing with, uh, really uh, be able to have more of the freedom and not really looking to be held down by one woman, this is the video for you. All right, so uh, with that, it is something that a lot of guys really can't handle. Most guys cannot handle one woman, let alone two or more. So uh, this is a great video to help y'all out, help you get, you know, your 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 pip hand strong, so to peep, so to speak, not physically but mentally, you know, so you can handle a rotation of women or multiple women, you know, at a time or at different times, you know. So I'm gonna help you out, and of course I'll give you the tips and tricks. I have typically four tricks four tips and tricks and then a bonus at the end of course so definitely want to stay till the end so you get that bonus and you are able to really be the best you can be out here when it comes to getting with these girls you know what i mean so i definitely stay to the end if you want to watch that bonus so let us get us rolling so first and foremost First and foremost, when it comes to uh, getting and handling a rotation of women, you must first get with women who want something casual or what you want, whatever it may be. Even if you're looking for a relationship and you're just kind of dating around and you that's handling a rotation. Yeah, it is, you know, but or if you're just looking to hook up. Yeah, I know, as long as you're hooking up with those girls and you just go on dates with them, but then you end up hooking up with multiples of them, that's a rotation. And you got a regular rotation of it. It is what it is. So, um, Or if you look at, you got girls who are looking for something casual because you're looking for something casual, you're just sleeping with them at different times. And that's approaching as well. So obviously you want to get with women who want what you want. Because that'll make it easier. Because if you got a girl who uh, doesn't like to just sleep around or they want to do different rules and stuff like that, it's probably not going to be a good fit for you. It's probably not going to be a good rotation girl. Or if they're looking for a relationship, you know, without really testing the waters, probably not going to be a good uh, relationship uh, or rotation girl and probably li a little needy. And you definitely want to watch out for them. For sure. Not good. Huge red flag. So find women who are looking for something casual or what you want. You know? So very good rotation girls. Just keep it easy. Keep it breezy. Y'all do your thing and you go. You know what I mean? Or you go on the date. Y'all have fun. Then you come back. You do your thing and then you go. Keep it easy. Because y'all just getting to know each other. Keep it simple. That's the first thing you want to look out for. Second, 
see the women when you want. See the women when you want. Very important. Because again, it's your rotation. You're dealing with these women as you want. It's on your terms. Sure, they can call you up, but if you want to see them, you will go see them. And then vice versa. If you want to see them, you could call them up as well. You know what I mean? So you must see these women when you want to see them. You know? Because again, it's all about making your life easier. Whatever fits into your life, the best you will do. You know what I mean? Just because a woman wants to see you, if you don't want to see them, you don't have to see them. It's all about you. Keep that in mind. It's all about you. And that will make it easier to handle the rotation because now you don't have to stress about seeing this one, seeing this one, seeing this one. Seeing this one seeing this. You see them when you want. And naturally, you may see some women more than others. That's part of the game. You know? And you want women who are confident. Because again, you definitely want to be able to see women on your terms. Have a happy life. Third tip I have for y'all. You want to have a full life. Because women shouldn't be all that you're focused on. Or your rotation. It shouldn't be all that you're focused on. You know what I mean? You want to obviously have jobs, see your friends, go out, travel, you know, work out. All the good stuff that should be taking out your time as well. Even more reason how come you should be seeing women on your terms and when you want to see them. Because you're supposed to have a full life. Women are supposed to be an accessory to your life. Make your life better. They're not supposed to be the center of your life. All right? So definitely have a full life. That'll give you a lot more grounding where you're like, hey, I don't need women. I want women. You know what I mean? So you don't have that needy energy. And of course, you see in multiple women, even more, you don't need women. You want them. So you'll be more selective and spend time with the women who you truly want to spend time with. All right. Um, so, yes. Since you've made it to the video, this point in the video, thank you. I appreciate it. I ask once again that you uh, subscribe, hit the notification button. And of course, if you're enjoying the video, if you think there's others that you know who would enjoy the video, so share the button. Hit the share button and share the video. And that would really uh, mean a lot to me. And thank you for, for making it this far in the video. You are awesome. You are awesome, for real. So, tip number four, always be ready to replace women who are more trouble than good for you. Because again, you have to have women who are living on your terms. And they're going with what you want to go with. That's making your life easy, seeing you when they, when you want to see them. And then also being able to have fun. They actually have fun with you. So maybe you may have a girl who might have um, uh, the the other two checked. She's fun. She's easygoing. Likes to be around when you want her to be around. But in the bedroom, she is garbage. Then you might have to have a either a talk or you got to replace her. You know, because that's part of having the rotation. The sex parts. And if the sex is not good, then it's not going to last. Because you know if the tables were turned and the sex wasn't good for her, she would replace you. Especially if that's all y'all are meeting up for. You're just hooking up. You want the sex to be good. And I mean, even if you're going on dates and you're then coming back, you still want the sex to be good. You're going to get the best women you can get. You want to get the best women you can get. That is super important. Get the best women you can get. So always be uh, always be ready to replace women 
who are more trouble than good for you. Very, very crucial. And we got the bonus. Thank y'all for staying to the bonus. I appreciate it. The bonus is you must be a leader to the women in your rotation. You must be a leader. And the reason is women who you see in your rotation, boom, 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 boom. The bare minimum in the rotation is just having sex. That's the bare minimum. Granted, you know, you like to be around them and, you know, they're, you know, work with your time and then the sex is good. That's the bare minimum, just having sex. But then you have, hey, do they want to help you outside of just having sex? You know, do they like spending time with you outside of the bed? Do you like spending time with them more outside of the bedroom or more, should I say, outside of the bedroom? Because it's really dependent on you. Do they want to help you in more aspects of your life outside of just giving you a nut? You know, those are things you want to be able to cultivate and see. And as a leader, you should direct your women to do a little bit more. See if they're receptive. If they are, push forward. If they're not, keep them where they're at. Keep them where they're at. So you must be a leader in your rotation of these women. See the ones who stand out. See the ones who need to stay where they are. Because once you do that, you understand potential, if you're looking for a relationship, potential relationship candidates. The ones that make your life easier, better, more fun outside of just the bedroom and that you enjoy being around. So it's very important. Get that rolling. Get that um, all taken care of and understand you are the man. All right. That's all I got for y'all. Let me know whether you like the list, dislike the list. Let me know if you think everything I said was spot on. Let me know if you think I missed some stuff. I appreciate it all the same. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. And even if you didn't because you want to make fun of me and, you know, you just want more people to come out and see me. <laughs> but um, outside of that, of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. As always, very important because this channel is for y'all. So I want to talk about stuff that y'all want me to talk about. And of course, uh, donations are always welcome. I appreciate it if you enjoy the video. Um, donations help me out. They're going to help me make higher quality videos. If you like the quality, cool. Don't don't donate. If you don't like the quality, if you want more from my channel, my videos, definitely donate. And I will definitely do better um, than using my, my phone. I will use uh, an actual camera, be able to edit a little bit more and do all that good stuff. So all that will be very, very much appreciative. Thank you. And of course, I hope to see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe and always remember the strongest person is the happiest person.